The work week starts up again this morning. So does the vaccination race. One of the biggest barriers besides supply is vaccine hesitancy. KQG's Madam McLean found out how local worksite clinics may help fight it. Hundreds of local factory and plant workers able to get fully vaccinated in minutes without ever leaving work this week. In addition to convenience, it may be helping persuade people to get the shot. I think it went really well, and, it, and there's a few additional um, people I think that we're interested in. We're going to try to get them taken care of this next week. It started as a call from Andrew County to St. Joseph's Health Director. What do you think about using these National Guard teams to go to work sites, particularly the, the large manufacturing sites, and vaccinate people at their work site? Now more than 600 people will be protected from severe illness and death from COVID-19. If we're on site at, at these facilities, is that going to, um, you know, open the door and, and allow for people to maybe come get a shot that wouldn't have taken the time to make the appointment or, or to go do that outside of work hours? Lifeline Foods, Nestle, Dailies, Ventura. Triumph and Tyson are probably our two bigger ones. In addition to making it more convenient for these workers to get vaccinated. It could be a challenge to then also get into the community clinic because by the time they, because they may want to go home and get cleaned up and then go back because it can be a messy job. It also may be helping combat some of the local vaccine hesitancy. How do you say no when it's right here in your backyard? So, um, so that was, I was hoping that that would be a motivator to get more people. And we did get a few people who at the last minute decided to come and get their vaccines. A March poll from the Kaiser Family Foundation found that 6 in 10 Americans either already had the vaccine shots or plan to get one. 13% saying they definitely won't. Another 17% say they will wait and see. From personal experience, local health officials say perhaps seeing is the key to convincing. And we've even had some of these factories already reach back out and say, you know, some people are more interested now. And so we had the same thing in our office, Maddie, when it first became available, you know, um, I rolled my sleeve up the, the day it arrived to, to take a shot, but um, not everybody did. And so I think that as time goes along, people will um, probably step forward as well. So potentially we'll look at going back if there's vaccine um, that we have the capability to do that. According to state data, more than 1.7 million Missourians have received at least one vaccine dose, which is nearly 28% of the state population.